only 25% of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you're one of those that are not subscribed, please subscribe now because that will help me to grow the channel. Not only does it tell me that you enjoy watching my videos, it also tells YouTube that you like my videos and it's going to recommend the videos to more people. And that will help the channel grow and I will make more videos so you can learn more. Win-win. So please subscribe before moving on. Thank you. So let's continue with messages. Let's send our first message, shall we? So how did I get here? Uh, let me hit back. So I went to somebody else's profile, not the user that's logged in, and I clicked message. So I'm about to message this person right here. But uh, let's see what kind of information is sent when we hit the send button. So let's go to our editor and this is the messages page. So that's messages.php. So I will find that here, messages, not message.php, but messages.php. So this is our page right here. And when we hit the post button, we're going to go through this location right here. So we've uh, muted the uh, redirect code here because we want to see what we get. So first thing I want to see what's inside. So I'll say show as our function. I want to see what's inside the post variable. And I also want to see what's inside the files variable like so. So I will hit send and okay. So immediately we have errors, which is good. Undefined variable post on line 27. So let's see that here line 27 Ooh. okay so we don't want to be doing this of course so i will remove that yeah so that error was uh, literally just on that line so recent and there we go so of course we have the post variable here that has a message wait a minute so the post variable has message and file and the other one is empty. So let's see what we have in the HTML down here so that we can uh, we can make reference, okay? So first of all, we have input with a type file, and then we have um, the text area, which is the message. So let me come back here. Okay, so that's message. But why are we seeing file here? File should have been here. And then input. Okay, so that's the button. And this is the file named file. Hmm. Wait a minute. Let me come back to the top here. So let's just echo one thing at a time. So I will remove the files section here. And then I will hit refresh. Okay, so message and file. I wasn't expecting that there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is let's click browse and just load an image and type some text. I'm going to say, this is a message, right? So let's hit send. And there we go but this is not exactly what we want. So the problem here is that uh, inside our post variable, we are seeing this uh, file here and we're not supposed to see that file in here. Let me go back uh, to messages.php. Uh, duplicate this one and put files. Now we're supposed to see that inside files instead. So let me refresh and resend. And you see that files is empty. Now, usually what happens uh, when files is empty and you are sending, you are uploading a file, that's usually because when we come to our form here, it's usually because you've forgotten this part here. Uh, ENC type multi-part data. 
Okay, but we haven't forgotten this type, uh, this this thing, and it's still here. So what is going on then? So to sort the problem, let's uh, go to the inspector. Let's inspect the element. I'm particularly looking for the form. So if you look here, the, here is the form right there, and there's method post, but there's no encoding type there at the end. So what is going on? So usually what happens here is that um, this could possibly mean you have several forms on the same page because what happens with HTML is that if you put a form inside a form, it you just ignore the form inside. So let's zoom out a little bit here. And fair enough, there is a form here, which is right there. So that is our problem. So what I will do is I'll just delete this form that is inside here and I will copy the ENC type. Let me just remove that like so and paste it there so that we have it over there. So let's see what happens now. If I refresh the page, Okay, so it seems maybe we may have to reload this. So browse, send. Okay, there we go. So now we have uh, something more reasonable. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. There we go there. Now, we could load multiple images. Let's see if that's actually possible here. I do that and that. Okay, so I can select multiple. But if you want to be able to load multiple images, for example, in the files here, you can say multiple right there. So it will allow you to select uh, multiple files if you do that. Let's try that out and see what it does. Yeah, so now I can hold down control while I select multiple images. Four files selected and hit send. But still, we have uh, only one of these so i guess this would only work if we were using javascript because in javascript we can separate those files one by one and then send them here but here it looks like only one is sent because it's actually only one input so i guess this doesn't serve us well unless we are using javascript so if we are going to ever use javascript we may see how to utilize that Okay, but for now, let's uh, see how to save a message. So, this is a message. And then let's load that file again and hit send. Okay, so we have something in the post variable. This is a message and one thing in the files variable there where there is a file. But for now, we're not going to be uploading any files. So I was just showing you this. What we will be doing is saving our message. So let's come back here to messages.php. And then at this point, we will leave this for now for reference. At this point, what we want to do is create a new class. So I'm going to say message. is equal to new message is it messages or just message just a minute so if i go to classes here i can check messages or oh, it's actually messages so messages or oh, what i can just say is msg this is the class so just in case you may forget that so is a good new messages like that and then what we want to do now is just to tell it to upload our message. So I can say message send, maybe something like this, right? But then we will need to give it some information to send. So we'll start with the post variable and then we'll start with the files variable, or we'll end with the files variable there something like this so messages sent and then we 
reload the page now the reason why we will need to reload the page because even when we leave the page like this it's going to be fine but when sending messages you have to reload the page because if for example you send a bunch of messages here and then for some reason you want to refresh the page to see if there are any new messages if i hit refresh it's asking me to resend the data right which is not good in that case it means i'll have to i'll be resending my own data again which means i'll send another message which is exactly the same so to avoid this we refresh the page immediately after sending a message so that once we refresh the page again we don't get this resend message but uh, that's a, a little bit ahead of ourselves so let's first create this messages class here so we go to classes and messages right there this is the messages class now as you can see we are calling the send so we have to create that function here but if we go to the post uh, php class here we have something similar here because a message is kind of like a post to an extent so we could make use of what's going on in here so i will just copy from post class post here i'll copy all this uh, create post function I hope this is okay up to where uh, it ends here so I, I will copy that into the messages class and paste now don't worry if you're not sure of this code here we will go through it uh, step by step so I'll come here of course we will change this to send to match our earlier uh, thing there so I want us to use post here as it is like this not the super global no because i want us to pass them there by uh, i don't know if this is passing by reference or not but files like so so we have our post data and we have our files data if any okay so well and good now we go into this and say if okay so there's data wait a minute we might want to just um, to just copy what's here so for to simplify things so i will just remove user id because data is already being used here uh, so I think I'll leave it. So data will represent the post itself. Files will represent the files. Okay, so it's not a post we are looking for. It's a message because if we come down here to our form, uh, that is the name, message. So that's what we're looking for. So everywhere, everywhere where it says data post like this, I will need to refresh that. So I have pressed Ctrl D to select all of those references and then move the cursor a bit backward and until I get to post, delete and put message there. All right, very good, very good. Okay, so let's see the things we need. Now, we don't need his profile image here because we're not going to be using any of that. We also don't need is cover image. So make sure you delete both of these. This is the open and close bracket for this one. So I will delete the entirety of that. And I will check also the open and close bracket for this one and delete also the ors. I will delete them from there. Okay, good. So if that is set and that is set, we are good my image is empty so we will need my image has image is required but these two not so much so let's remove that and then we don't care whether it's a profile image or cover image uh, but here his profile image wait a minute what did i do here discover images profile image okay delete that so since uh, 
this is no longer relevant we will oh wait a minute this goes in through here if it's a profile or okay so this only happens if it's a profile image or something but this happens normally when it's a normal post so this is what we want the normal post system so i'll check the curly brackets here and then remove the top this whole part here out now this curly bracket is this one so i'll remove this as well and remove this one okay uh -huh. so what's happening now is that we're just checking if the file is not empty and if it's not we will upload it and then the post is over here now we will change post to message instead every reference there should be should be changed so d d that that's fine message id okay message id is different but still i'm just going to uh to change that no actually let me go step by step because this looks like it's going to be a mess